Tronica. I'm on the Infineon stand with Constantine here. So, Constantine, the first question we're asking everyone, it's been four years since we were all at Electronica. So, what would you say is the main innovation that has changed since we were here last? So, what I'm really excited about is the development in the area of USB Type-C. Here we are clearly at the forefront of innovation, this connector. Um, we are enabling uh, power delivery up to 240 watts on a standardized connector. With that, we can get rid of the barrel connectors of the past and standardize in one USB Type-C connector. Therefore, we can avoid a lot of e-waste and avoid unnecessary CO2 emissions. So the legislation is coming in soon for the USB Type-C, so that's why everyone is going to be needing to work towards these USB Type-C connectors, right? Yes, exactly. Right, right now is the perfect time to get involved in USB Type-C because legislation is done and the innovation is coming now. So that's good. So there's going to be a big move towards that. So the other thing that we need to know is how is Infineon helping to sustain a greener future and empower a greener future? What, do you, what would you say for your technologies? So I would say let's look at the power side of things first. Here we are clearly market leader. And with that, of course, we are active in all three semiconductor fields. This is silicon, silicon carbide and gallium nitride. Reducing switching losses is a key contributor to energy efficiency and therefore to limit the carbon footprint of any application. For that, we offer the broadest MOSFET portfolio in the market, from best-in-class technologies like Optimos and Coolmos to very robust ones like StrongerFET. <laughs> All right, so what about wideband gap then? Of course, if even higher efficiency, smaller size or lighter weight are needed, we are able to offer our next generation switches on wideband gap, which are Cool SAC and Cool GAN. So that, that will, is covering off most things. Now the other thing that you were talking to me about a short while ago was sensors and sensing our environments. Yes. So how is Infineon working in that, in that area? Infineon is working on a lot of sensors. Let me quickly highlight two of them. Okay. Um, first, let's look at our extensive radar sensors. They enable in smart homes or in smart buildings things like lighting or heating to automatically switch on when there's people around and switch off when they leave again to save energy. On the other hand, I would like to highlight our CO2 sensor, Extensive Pass CO2. It's this sensor here. It's a very tiny sensor, but yet highly accurate. With that, you can enable HVAC systems to uh, tune the air quality according to the CO2 level. So we've spoken about the legislation for the USB-Cs, sensors, there's a load of power stuff that Infineon is working in. What's the one thing that you would want someone to take away from what you're representing here? Oh, that's easy. Um, we at Infineon, we are driving decarbonization and digitalization together.